Good afternoon, Houston, and welcome to Feeling Better Naturally with Dr. John Trowbridge here on Star 790 KBME for the best medical updates ever. Are you fearful that better health seems out of your reach regardless of how hard you try or whatever you do? Are you afraid of suffering with heart disease or diabetes or lingering with stroke or cancer? Or do you avoid thinking about these things, just uh, you'll try to make the best of it, whatever happens? Are you limited by joint pains or finding that you can't run from your headaches? Maybe you're hesitant to try something new because you're afraid that what you'll do is wrong, or maybe because you'd better be right or nothing will ever help. Well, regardless of what might be happening with your health problems, these next few minutes could be the answer to your prayers. Unless, of course, you're convinced that your doctors have done everything possible, or if you've already decided to have surgery, but you're waiting until you worsen further. But if you hold out any hope at all, then you should know that we see desperate people every day, people skeptical about whether anything we can do can make a difference in their lives. And sure enough, many of them are pleasantly surprised. Maybe you could be one of them. After all, the only thing you have to lose is your discomfort or your fear, your worry, maybe even your anger that no one has really listened to you or that no one has been able to really help you. We'll be talking about what you can do to get out of your pain and get on with your life. I practiced for 25 years, never believing that you're suffering from a deficiency of one or more drugs, or that an operation is probably the best answer. You know, whatever ails you, God built your system to repair itself and to restore more normal function, and that, in a nutshell, is the whole buzz on the topic of alternative or holistic medicine that you've been hearing about these past few years. Drugs and surgery can be helpful, but true natural healing depends on three factors. First, find what's blocking you from feeling better and remove it. Second, find what trace factors you might be missing but you need for repair and provide them. And third, find what switches you need to have turned on and turn them on. We'll share practical pointers to help you improve with the most common problems seen in doctors' offices, practical preventive medicine updates to help reduce your risk factors for the most serious diseases that claim our comfort and then our lives, and practical ways to reduce your risks and improve your results with drugs and surgery that you might need. As I've said for years, when life is your choice, failure is not an option. So learn more today on how you can succeed. And if what we offer doesn't apply to you right now, then share this life-saving information with family or friends who do need to know. You know, the book of Ecclesiastes tells us in chapter 1, verse 9, that there is no new thing under the sun. So let's see what we might learn from those who've walked the path ahead of us. Here's one of the giants of our time, Albert Einstein, who said, not everything that can be counted counts, and not everything that counts can be counted. And in our digital era, that certainly poses challenges to the way we think about things. But we have a program today that's going to pose even more challenges to the way we think about things. Charlene in Pasadena called to ask me to explain how food allergies can affect your health, and boy, did she open a Pandora's box there. So we'll deal today with this common problem, what happens when your body hates your food? Well, that's an interesting question, isn't it? Because we don't think of it that way. But, you know, different foods break down at different speeds and cause different toxic reactions depending on the food and your personal body chemistry. This is where modern medicine becomes very customized, very personalized to you. Without scientific testing, it's very difficult to judge which foods cause which reactions and when. And, you know, people do know when they have reactions to foods. They say, oh, man, every time I eat that, I get such and so. But what about if you ate it four days ago? How do you know it was that food? And you don't. And that's what we're going to talk about today, how to find out and how to really get better. You know, the most notable point here is how much better you could feel. Some people rid themselves of lifelong chronic conditions like migraines which is often associated with food toxicity. Some people feel a tremendous boost in energy or sex drive or a general increase in mental acuity. That means you can think what you wanted to think. Others notice that their constant irritability is gone, and gee, the people around them are very happy. You know, there was a journal in the American Medical Association article that uh, revealed more than 75% of the money spent on health care is spent on chronic conditions. Now think about this. Acute conditions are something you get and you get over, whether you need drugs or whatever, or injuries where you need, you know, specialized care, even surgery. But chronic conditions are the ones that come and stay. They don't come and go. 
They're the ones that keep lingering. They're the ones that keep gnawing at us and causing problems. You know, there's about 290-some million people in this country, and over 3 billion prescriptions are written every year in America. That generates about $150 billion for the pharmaceutical companies. That's a lot of dough. Many of these prescriptions just kind of cover up their fancy Band-Aids for some of the symptoms that are caused by food toxicity. Now, remember, these prescriptions don't cure the condition. They simply make you forget it or not feel so bothered by it, such as painkillers and other symptom-relieving prescriptions. You know, all the allergy medications that are being advertised now. We're all the stomach distress ones. Over 43 million people suffer from arthritis, and arthritis pain is sometimes related to food toxicity. You know, more than 50 million Americans suffer from irritable bowel syndrome. That's belly cramping and bloating and gas and constipation and diarrhea and so on. What if that's related to food toxicities? See, what I'm trying to say here is that there's a lot of people with a lot of problems, and you might well be one of them. What about ear infections that cause patients, parents to take their children in as patients for more than 20 million doctor visits a year? And very often, ear infections are related to the foods that we eat. Now, there are tests that can tell us about these kinds of things, and that's one of the things we're going to discuss today. But I just want to give you kind of a real quick listing. What about if you have digestive problems, uh, you know, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, bloated, belching, passing gas, stomach pains, heartburn, and stuff, joint and muscle problems, weight, binge eating and drinking, craving certain foods, excessive weight or compulsive eating, even water retention, Energy and activity problems, everybody knows about that, especially fatigue, restlessness, hyperactivity, attention deficit even. What about emotional problems, mood swings, anxiety, fear, and nervousness, or anger and irritability, aggressiveness, or argumentativeness? Mind problems like poor memory or difficulty completing projects or even difficulty with math? How about being an underachiever in school or having a poor or short attention span or easy confusion and distraction? What about irregular skipped heartbeats or rapid or pounding heartbeats or even chest pain? And again, we have problems like with eyes, watery or itchy eyes, red or swollen or sticky eyelids, bags or dark sickles under your eyes, blurred or tunnel vision. And of course, we talked about ears with, with ear infections, but what about drainage and ringing in the ears and hearing loss even, itchy ears? Lung problems like congestion and asthma and bronchitis and shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, persistent coughing, nose problems, of course, the Houston crud, the stuffy nose, and chronic inflammation in the nose, sinus problems and sinus congestion and even infections, hay fever, skin problems like acne or itching, hives, rash, dry skin, hair loss even, and of course, the usual headaches and faintness and dizziness and insomnia problems and mouth problems with chronic coughing and gagging and sore throat and hoarseness and such. Gee, the symptom list goes on and on. Maybe you're one of those folks who has problems like that. You know, what are the causes of chronic disease and autoimmunity? Because when I list these symptoms, I'm not just telling you about distressing stuff. I'm talking with you about problems that come and stay or come and go and come back again frequently, the chronic conditions. You know, one of the major advances in medicine in recent years has been our expanded understanding of the immune system, our defense system, and its broader and more important role in general health and wellness, not just in defending us against infections. You know, earlier it was thought that our immune system was just involved in defending our bodies against things like bacteria and viruses and other environmental invaders. But medical science has come to recognize that the immune system has defense as well as repair capabilities and the defense component fights off the invaders that create disease, while the repair aspect plays an important role in restoring the tissue and organs from damage that the disease state may have caused. Now, if either your defense or your repair function becomes overburdened or overstressed, immune dysfunction and disease may result. And recent studies have shown that when defense elements or the white blood cells, lymphocytes of the immune system, are mobilized against the effects of foreign invaders, the vital repair process suffers, and organs and tissues weaken over time, and the body's ability to fight off future assaults is reduced, and the effect of this immune system dysfunction can be seen as chronic inflammatory and even autoimmune diseases that often defy treatment. And that is what we're going to talk about today. That's what we're happy to bring you on our show this afternoon. Now, 
what we want to talk about is coming up shortly. But the time is right now about 10 past the hour, and you're listening to Feeling Better Naturally with Dr. John Trowbridge on Star 790 KBME, the best medical updates ever. Your extended health forecast is brought to you now by Life Celebrating Health in Humble near Bush Intercontinental Airport. Our crystal ball shows clear to partly cloudy with the winds of change blowing. Are you acting more like an ostrich, burying your head in the sand because you don't feel able to deal with your health problems? Then your tail feathers will be getting wet when partly cloudy skies change to rain. Perhaps you're clucking around kind of happy that a new medication has you feeling better, but not realizing that those fancy patches and band-aids might not be the best for you. If you're not changing anything and simply hoping for the best because you've been feeling pretty good, or maybe you're afraid or unsure, then cloudy to very stormy skies are on your horizon. Or maybe, just maybe, you're ready to make changes and regain and maintain better health then sunny skies are coming your way. You know, at Life Celebrating Health, you can depend on us as partners in your health care, and we'll design personalized programs to help keep your days sunny. And we'll show you how to spend less and get more. Call for your free telephone consultation with one of our treatment assistants. No fee, no obligation. Just dial 1-800-FIX-PAIN. That's 1-800-F-I-X-P-A-I-N. That's 1-800-FIX-PAIN. Ask to receive our free e-newsletter. Just share with us your email address or send your questions to us through our Internet website, www.healthchoicesnow.com, because unlike the weather, you do have choices for better health. Now, the most common assaults that pose the greatest burden to our immune system on a daily basis or from digestion, you know, the foods that we're eating as they're being processed and the environmental allergens that contact us mostly through the digestive or the respiratory tract, the nose, sinuses, and lungs. By identifying these antigens and eliminating them from our exposure or reducing them dramatically, the immune burden, the stress on our system can be reduced or eliminated, and that allows the defense and repair systems to return to optimal function. The result, of course, you know, we're talking about improving and sustaining better health. So this afternoon we're joined by one of my dear friends for the last 20 years, Dr. Russell Jaffe. He's an MD, PhD, that means he's a real doctor twice, and he developed a very interesting test called the ELISA ACT lymphocyte response assay, and if you can say that three times fast forward, you get a better score than I do. But this test is awesome. It makes possible for physicians to examine the immune system's general health by monitoring delayed hypersensitivity or immune system responses to as many as 400 common substances. And this can identify if you're reactive to these substances that might be provoking any of your chronic conditions. And it provides a personalized treatment plan to help eliminate these sensitivities and restore overall health. Now, Dr. Jaffe is lab director at ELISA ACT Biotechnologies. He's been a fellow of the Health Studies Collegium and through his studies, his expertise for years in non-invasive studies of cells, he developed this novel test and others for blood platelet survival and fibrinogen survival, platelet aggregation, lymphocyte response. What I'm telling you is this guy knows what he's doing in the level inside your body. He uh, received his BS, his PhD, and MD degrees from the Boston University School of Medicine, finishing in 1972, and completed residency training in clinical chemistry at the National Institutes of Health in 1973 through 1979. He was board certified in clinical pathology and chemical pathology. The recipient of the Merck Sharp Dome Excellence in Research Award, the J.D. Lane Award, the U.S. Public Health Service Meritorious Service Award, this gentleman teaches and lectures widely. He's one of the best lecturers you've ever heard on the causes and consequences of immune defense and repair function and health and disease. And you know what he's looking for is effective, comprehensive care programs that help practitioners know what to do when they're practicing. Russ Jaffe, welcome to our show this afternoon. Dr. Trowbridge, a pleasure to be with you, and thank you so much for the kind introduction that my mom wrote. <laughs> yes, and she sent it to me in big type, so, I, <laughs> so I'd be able to read it easy. That's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Russ, when we look at the time that we have had together over the years, uh, what we've really seen, I think, is a growing awareness on both of our parts about how this whole program really fits together, how we can make sense out of what has gone on in the life before us, okay? Mm-hmm. And, and what we're really able to do is translate this for people. 
Exactly right. Uh, better technology gives us a better insight into what's really going on for the individual, and that provides a whole new avenue for better care and better outcomes. It's really a different ballpark, isn't it? A new kind of medicine. That's right, a different game. Now, you know, the old kind of medicine waits for you to show up, mm -hmm. say, I'm sick, get you a prescription or eventually lead you toward an operation, and then you keep coming back. And the new paradigm, the new way of thinking is find how you're actually working and find a real fixable program that you can follow. Well, the best we've been able to do up until recently has been to identify the symptoms and suppress them. Now, fortunately, we have patient-specific and predictive information about the causes rather than the consequences, and that really does open up a whole new aspect of medicine. Oh, a whole new ballpark here. I have a quote uh, for a, from a patient from Herndon, Virginia. says, I've not had any migraines since I started on the ELISA ACT program after having had them for 20 years. It's great to be free of them. And you hear that all the time, don't you? We do. Uh, we are grateful for those kinds of feedbacks, and that encourages us to continue with the studies. And when you talk about the studies, I want people to understand this is really scientific medicine here. This is taking samples from people and not just producing a, a lab test that says 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus, but actually looking at the way their cells are responding that represent a long-term awareness of what they're being exposed to, that their body's looking for it. Exactly. And fortunately, we've been able to uh, take these memory cells, these specialized white blood cells called lymphocytes, and uh, develop some breakthrough technology that allows us to assess their reactivity just as it happens in the body, but under controlled conditions of the laboratory. And what that translates into for your patients is that instead of taking six to nine months to figure out what's going on with someone, we can get all of that information in a few days. And that information is real and reproducible. That's the fun part. It's real science. Real science. Uh, I, I was trained as a scientist. I came to this field to debunk it because I hadn't learned about it in medical school. <laughs> and what I found was mostly my ignorance, and I've done my best to correct that. Gosh, don't we, don't we find some of the most startling answers that way? Yes. You know, uh, Theron Randolph in the 1950s in Chicago was teaching people how to take their pulse and otherwise measure aspects of their vital signs to determine what foods they were reacting to. And mm -hmm. he was the first to say keep a foods record, a dietary record, a and indeed did some awesome things helping people to identify foods and avoid them that produced an immediate response. But, indeed. But your test is different. Our test is different. Our test uh, isn't subject to the variability of an individual's pulse, the way the Coca wrinkle randolph method is, uh, but rather allows us to take a specimen that's not damaged or activated from the patient, just one ounce of blood, which is about what the body makes every hour, and then have that transported to the lab overnight so that we can do what's called a cell culture. That is, we can allow the cells to react, and we can measure up to 400-plus different foods, chemicals, preservatives, medications, or whatever is appropriate uh, based on your clinical judgment uh, on that individual. And we can do all of this. Uh, the actual cell culture itself now only takes a matter of hours. Then we have a very elaborate quality control program to make sure that the result is as accurate as it can be. And then if requested, we can provide what you were talking about, which is a treatment guide that says, what do you do with this information to get the most value for the uh, data uh, but in the life and style of the individual. Well, you know, Russ, that's important you keep saying what the physician wants because the physician is the frontline person. He's got the patient there. Or she's well, got the, the patient. Th th that's exactly right. The, the physician knows the patient. We may know the specimen, but the physician knows the patient, and the patient knows themselves far better than we do. We're just providing a light that can then be guided. Exactly. And, and what I like to uh, think about when I see patients is, you know, they'll say, well, what, what test do I need? And I recommend sometimes the full profile, sometimes very limited parts of it, mm -hmm. because we're answering specific questions at the time. And, and in answering those questions, the numbers that we get, and quite honestly, Russ, this is what I've depended on you for years, mm -hmm. I want something where the patient's going to notice a result in the next 30 days. Exactly right. Be and because it's valuable. 
Well, it's valuable, and instead of what most laboratories have done, which is require the doctor to be restrained and constrained in their selection, as a clinician myself, I felt that the that you as the physician know the patient best, and that's why you can order just one or two items if that's appropriate for the individual, or up to 400 plus items to get a rather complete profile of virtually everything that they have seen from a dietary, environmental, chemical, and medication standpoint. And we're going to talk more about that in just a minute. Thanks, Russ. It's now about 20 past the hour here on Star 790 KBME with the best medical updates ever. Let's pause briefly for this important message from one of our sponsors, Magnetico. Would you like to sleep soundly and feel better, have extra energy? If so, you need the Magnetico Sleep Pad. Blind studies have shown that the Magnetico Sleep Pad, boy, that's a mouthful, helps people who suffer from pain, fibromyalgia, angina, fatigue, and pain from diabetic neuropathy. Sleep Pad owners report relief from arthritis, pains, back problems, migraines, high blood pressure, and other disorders. And here's the good news. Magnetico offers you a six-month satisfaction guarantee. So start feeling good again. Call this toll-free number now, 1-866-465-8892. That's 1-866-465-8892. The 23rd home run day. Hank Aaron's first home run, 1954. The fourth week of this month is Administrative Professionals Week, also Administrative Professionals Day that was formerly Secretary's Week. Please remember the people who make everything possible in your work life. And this is also National Anxiety Month. I wonder if that has anything to do with the tax man. And a blast from the past, our Burma Shave Roadside sign. Heaven's latest neophyte signaled left, then turned right. Burma Shave. Just to give you a little chuckle there. We're talking with Dr. Russell Jaffe, who is director of a laboratory that runs a test that he developed, as a matter of fact, looking for answers to real people's problems. And when we talk about real people's problems, here's an example of a patient from Newton, Massachusetts. I was amazed at my fast recovery from a four-year struggle with chronic fatigue syndrome and depression once I began the LRA by ELISA ACT program. Russ, we're going to have to find a way to refer to that. (laughs) I have returned to work, and my energy level and health are stronger than before I got sick. I never thought I could be this healthy. And that's the kind of thing that we're really after. We don't want just another allergy test and another, you know, people remember the scratch tests on the back. I had those when I was a kid. That's how they originally found out that I reacted to cow's milk and so on. And they know about the test. Oh, well, my doctor took a a lab test and he found out these allergy things. How is yours really different? Well, it's different because delayed allergies are fundamentally different from the immediate reactivity. Routine allergic skin testing is valuable for finding out what are called immediate reactions, those that occur within seconds to minutes of exposure. What has been quite perplexing in clinical medicine are the delayed, the mystery, the hidden allergic responses sometimes called delayed hypersensitivities for a more technical uh, view. Uh, And these are difficult to clinically assess because it's anywhere from a couple of hours to several weeks from the time an individual gets exposed until the symptoms appear. But fortunately, these circulating immune system memory cells, these lymphocytes, remember what we have become sensitized to, and we're able to uh, get them to talk to us in the laboratory Uh, and find out what they would react against if exposed in the body. Now, that's a nice way of saying it, because we can can ask them, hey, what are you looking for? And they tell us. And they do tell us, because we're able to do this specialized procedure in the patient's own plasma with every other cell type that is found in the body present. We don't need to isolate the lymphocytes the way the older technologies did. Uh, We use a special amplification, a catalyst that's on the surface of the lymphocyte, but it's inactive until the cell sees something that it reacts against and then it activates, and that's part of the ELISA amplification part of the technology. And so this allows us uh, to do hundreds of assays, hundreds of tests on different substances, where in the older lymphocyte reaction technology, you took one ounce of blood to do one substance. 
And if you needed to test the individual for 400 substances, let me see, that would be 400 ounces of blood, probably more than you should take from an individual. <laughs> probably more. Now, what you're saying is you're looking at these cells and saying, hey, which one of you guys has a wanted poster for this particular thing? Or one other one has a wanted poster. They're looking for specific, what we call antigens. That just means the, the provoker. And you're able to have them say, hey, I over here, I've got this one. And someone else says, I've got that one. And, and you find out the degree to which the body is upset about seeing those exposures in either foods or chemicals or whatever. That's exactly right. And there are different mechanisms or pathways in the body. Our test is uniquely able to measure all of these at the same time rather than to measure just one part of one component and try to infer the other information. Right. Try to guess at the rest. Try to guess at the rest. You know, I've got a wonderful brochure here where you, you talk about this is functional medicine because we're actually looking at the responses, the functions from inside you, and people don't always realize. You know, they might think of asthma as an uh, allergic type of disease, but who would think of hyperthyroidism or irritable bowel syndrome or pernicious anemia or sinusitis and chronic nose congestion, even Sjogren's syndrome? Well, all of what you're just referring to, Dr. Trowbridge, are what we broadly call autoimmune or immune dysfunction conditions. Exactly. Every different part of the body has not just one, but often a family of these autoimmune or immune dysfunction conditions. And our technology is so fundamental that it measures the reactivity across the entire spectrum of these autoimmune, immune dysfunction conditions, well over a thousand of them, and they do include, as you were referencing, asthma to Sjogren's syndrome, irritable bowel syndrome, ulcerative colitis to allergic migraine headaches, eczema and psoriasis, uh, thyroiditis, and on and on. And on and on, including things that are very common, like diabetes. For example, the classic autoimmune condition, one in which we have shown favorable, successful outcomes, both for type 1, the insulin-dependent diabetes, and type 2, the so-called adult or metabolic syndrome, insulin dysregulation type of diabetes. In both of those, we've shown successful outcomes in just six months of best efforts on the part of the individual. Not folks who were in a metabolic ward in a hospital, but people who were living their lives and following our recommendations to the best of their capacity compared to the best currently available conventional diabetes management. Now, when we talk about, you know, compared to the currently available management, one thing that people sometimes confuse when they talk about looking at uh, alternatives or preventive medicine approaches is they think we abandon those traditional treatments, but we oh, don't. By, no, by no means. We're looking at a comprehensive approach, a best of both lowest risk, highest clinical outcome approach, and whatever meets that standard uh, is a desirable approach to follow. Exactly. And if it reduces your need for usual medications or if it reduces your risk for having surgery in the future, so much the better. That's the outcome we're all after. All of us as physicians desire our patients to be free of suffering and free of a disability or free of uh, symptomatic uh, problems that reduce their quality of life and, and productivity. Here's a good example of reducing quality of life. Uh, this is a patient from Ghana who reported that just three days after starting the ELISA program, my chronic back and joint pain disappeared and have not come back. I'm able to exercise regularly and have never felt stronger. You know what impresses me, Russ, when we look at the various reports from uh, and, and you provide wonderful papers to document this in terms of your testing. But when we look at this, people are talking about fundamental, what we call constitutional improvement. Mm -hmm. I feel stronger. I sleep better. I'm more alert. These are things you can't just say, you know, my right elbow hurts, and we pay all of the attention to your right elbow. How do we treat someone who says, I don't feel strong? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and if the fundamental chemistry is in a, quote, allergy-type pattern, then what's really the best test to look at that? And indeed, that raises a very important point. When we're healthy, we're tolerant to the world. If we get exposed to something foreign, we have special recycling systems within our body that do just that. They recycle the foreign material without any cost or without any tax on our biological health. It's only when we shift away from that healthy tolerance or that healthy homeostasis and shift into hypersensitivity or a fixed delayed allergic state that these autoimmune problems emerge. And they emerge with a vengeance, don't they? Unfortunately, it's been referred to as an epidemic of epidemics of <laughs> autoimmune conditions. There are now over a 1,000 differentiated autoimmune syndromes. Uh, and uh, the uh, best uh, estimate that I have seen 
uh, is that uh, well over four out of ten, over 40 percent of adults in America have one or more autoimmune syndrome. One or more. And they often come in groups, don't they? They often do come in groups because when you look at the fundamental causes that have to do with this loss of tolerance and the development of repair deficits, uh, the immune system is responsible for defending us against what's foreign that invades us, but it's also responsible for doing repair from daily wear and tear. If it's preoccupied with this defensive invasion and hypersensitivity, it just defers the repair and the body slowly goes downhill. Right. It defers the repair. Important point. We're joined this afternoon by Dr. Russell Jaffe, who will be right back with us. It's now about 30 minutes past the hour here on Star 790 KBME, the best medical updates ever. Sometimes, especially when our attention is focused on health problems, we forget that laughter is the best medicine. for. Her. So here's our joke for today. The seven-year-old girl told her mom, a boy in my class asked me to play doctor. Oh, dear. The mother nervously sighed. What happened, honey? Nothing. He made me wait 45 minutes and then double-billed the insurance company. (laughs) Holidays upcoming. How about the Houston International Festival? This annual salute to Houston's diversity is one of the city's biggest springtime events. Colorful and lively, the festival transforms 20 blocks of downtown into an open-air market of ethnic food, arts, crafts, and live performances. The 2004 Festival, festival, which is the 33rd annual tribute, spotlights the culture, customs, and cuisine of Thailand. The fun dominates Reliant Park, second weekend now, April 24-25. Give a call for information, 713-654-8808, 713-654-8808. Get on out and have some fun. And when we talk about, let's getting straight to the question, what are you waiting for? Sick and tired of feeling sick and tired? Or angry at not feeling better? Threatened with pain or limitations? How about fearful about your future? Can you trust that you'll find the right answers, the ones that you need now? You'd better take that responsibility seriously because you've got to find the answer somehow, and you'd better be right because your survival might be in the balance. So listen to what I have to offer. Over the past two dozen years, I've developed and improved integrative treatment programs to help many people suffering with a great variety of frustrating illnesses. Fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, heart disease, even after surgery, and especially congestive heart failure, shortness of breath, restless sleep or insomnia, poor circulation and leg pains, hypoglycemia and diabetes, poor memory, even Alzheimer's and other dementias, migraines and other headaches, rheumatoid arthritis and lupus, ulcerative colitis and other gut problems, Frustrating skin conditions or disabling neck and back pains, sports injuries and arthritis, prostatitis, chronic urinary infections, chronic sinus and lung infections, hormone problems, thyroid and sexual performance, PMS, menopause, even menopause, and the list just goes on and on and on. It almost sounds like some of these are related to the ELISA stuff we're talking about now because it is. See, health deals with basic body processes, not just squashing particular symptoms, and you could feel better than you ever expected. Now, I've lectured on these topics for over 20 years. I've written books and medical papers to share how to make healing happen. The leading authors and newsletter editors in preventive medicine have been personal friends of mine for years, and in my 25 years of practice, I've found that very few people know that simple, effective, and cost-conscious solutions are available to help with their problems, really starting now. And few people realize that several of the problems for which they're seeing different specialists are often related to the same basic cause, so correcting what is causing one problem might improve several other problems that frustrate, worry, or anger you. Make your healthcare investment pay even bigger dividends in your future. Get details on our exclusive and unique cashable voucher program that can return to you cash dollars for your future expenses. We're here to save your health and save your wallet as well. And that's what this show is all about, and that's what we're all about at Life Celebrating Health and Humble. Call for a free consultation with one of our treatment assistants. No fee, no obligation. Just dial 1-800-FIX-PAIN. That's 1-800-F-I-X-P-A-I-N. You're listening to Feeling Better Naturally with Dr. John Trowbridge. Invite your family and friends to tune in and join us here on Star 790 KBME for the best medical updates ever, Friday afternoons from 1 till 2. And we're back with Dr. Russell Jaffe, whose ELISA ACT test has been absolutely marvelous for our patients over the many years. And in, you know, in our uh, 
statement there about what we do at, at Life Celebrating Health. We talk about helping one problem, really helping others. And indeed, when we get a report back from your lab, patients sometimes say, well, I don't see how this is going to help. I mean, this just says just stay away from these 12 or 14 things or something. How's that really going to work? Well, you do want to substitute for what is offending or preoccupying your immune system. But more than that, you want to engage in a program that will enhance the repair functionalities. So in addition to substitution, we do recommend a specific, what we call alkaline whey diet, targeted supplementation to correct nutrient deficits and to deal with the taxes of high-tech living, and healing actions, behavioral responses that integrate mind and body to evoke the human healing response. <laughs> Gee, Russ, you're talking about a holistic health program. Yes, yes. I, I had the privilege of working with Norm Shealy to help found the American Holistic Medical Association uh, way back when. <laughs> That's right. Uh, to recognize that uh, the body does best when we respect its capacity to repair itself, but also when we remove the obstacles to recovery and facilitate the biochemical reconstitution. And when we talk about biochemical reconstitution, the, the key thing here is we're actually talking about remaking ourselves, letting ourselves get healthier by letting ourselves do the job that our body was designed to do. And that high-tech lifestyle gets in the way, doesn't it? All too often, uh, we call this distress, or we call this uh, the, uh, the challenges of uh, 21st century living. Uh, we can adapt, uh, fortunately, uh, to these opportunities. Uh, but we do have to be active, proactive. Right. In we have to make response. decisions ourselves to do it. Exactly. And we have to know what to do. And that's where we're grateful to provide some guidance and work with colleagues like yourself uh, to really tailor the uh, program to the individual. Exactly. Now, one of the things that struck me about your test when I first saw it was how many non-food substances. Now, we all know about molds and things like that, but we're really talking about things that have, have been poisoning the planet in the 20th century that you're actually looking at as causing immune system stimulation. Exactly right. Uh, environmental chemicals are relatively new to human exposures, and uh, at times these become uh, reactive. Uh, they provoke hypersensitivities, uh, they're technically called haptins, which means they're small molecules that normally don't evoke an immune response. But when these chemicals get inside the body, under some conditions, they distort the body's own structure. They make the body foreign to itself. And that's what we're able to measure in the laboratory. And when you talk about the body becoming foreign to itself, that's pretty significant because that is the beginning then of the autoimmune pattern. Exactly right. Now, we know that as rheumatoid arthritis and lupus and a few illnesses like that, but more and more of the, quote, common chronic conditions are being shown to have an autoimmune root, aren't they? They are indeed. Uh, and last time I checked, it was over a 1,000 different medical syndromes or diagnoses that were classified as autoimmune or immune dysfunction. Now, if we walk into our doctor's office and we go see our family doctor and we say, listen, I think I might have an autoimmune pattern going on here, what are they going to say? Well, basically what they'll say from a mechanistic view uh, is that the, these are chronic conditions. You have to learn to live with them, and we may be able to reduce the suffering and the discomfort uh, either with uh, pain medications or other symptom suppressive medications or where necessary steroidal medications to block the immune responses. But that's because the information that is now available about the individual's specific reactors is not generally available to most conventional physicians. Right, because that their, their paradigm, their training, really doesn't put them in the perspective of looking for it that way, does it? Well, our training. I, I was trained in that way. <laughs> yes, and I so was, was I. <laughs> to, I was trained to view the body as a machine or as an elaborate computer, uh, and I have come to see the value of that mechanistic approach but the limitations of it as well, and that with the uh, advances of technology today, from genomics to proteomics to what's now called immunomics, uh, where we are grateful to be one of the cutting-edge uh, laboratories and reference uh, institutions, uh, we're recognizing uh, that uh, a more uh, subtle but profound understanding of the body leads to new insights for care that are lower in risk and very often higher in outcome. Exactly. You know, one way I call this is the spider web theory of medicine. Mm. You pull on one part of the web and the whole web jiggles. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, that indeed is how we get sick. Something comes in and bangs on one part of our system, and then we start reverberating throughout our our system. And then we start seeing different specialists depending on which song is singing loudest. (laughs) And uh, we go from specialist to specialist, adding drugs and adding to our distress that we're just not fundamentally feeling better. And, and that's one of the things that I find that's such a joy about your test, is people do feel better. Oh, thank you. And they feel better because they're working better on the inside. Well, when we can identify what for the individual is provoking their problems and ask them to substitute to the best of their ability while engaging in a repair program, uh, all sorts of opportunities for sustainable remission in chronic illnesses that are usually considered to be treatment-resistant. Right. Resistant meaning they don't get better, but actually we see them getting better and staying better. Well, all, when all you have is the ability to suppress the symptoms, uh, then you really have a very limited medical tool set. Uh, what we're talking about, of course, is the next generation of much more functional approaches. That's like using buckets to ke- catch the dripping water instead of repairing the roof. Indeed. Indeed. (laughs) We'll be right back with you, Dr. Russell Jaffe. It's now about 40 past the hour here on Star 790 KBME, the best medical updates ever. We sometimes forget that spiritual centering is an important part of healing, getting better and staying healthier. And today's verse is from Proverbs chapter 13, verse 14. The teaching of the wise is a fountain of life, turning a man from the snares of death. And that indeed is what we're talking about here when we talk about the ELISA ACT testing and the treatment program. Dr. Russell Jaffe is joining us this afternoon describing his test and the treatment programs. How did you really develop, if I can ask you to expand on this, not just the test, but the whole treatment program that you're able to provide for practitioners to make it easy for patients to understand what to do? Well, I had been trained as a methodologist, and in your kind introduction, you kind of indicated some of the uh, novel uh, laboratory procedures that I was fortunate enough to develop. Uh, I became interested in the immune system. It was generally understood to be tremendously important, both in health as well as in uh, chronic ill health, Uh, but nobody quite understood how to get the immune system to talk in a specific and predictive, in a reliable way. Uh, but under laboratory conditions. And that seemed to me like a real opportunity uh, to help demystify something that in medicine uh, was both fundamental uh, and perhaps uh, opportune. Uh, And uh, after we uh, developed the procedure, we then had to take on the obligation of saying, well, uh, does everybody react to something? One of the common questions that we hear. And indeed, healthy people do not have reactivities in our lymphocyte response assay by ELISA Act. Uh, if people follow the program, do they lose their reactivity or once allergic, always allergic, as I've heard too often from colleagues? Indeed, when you look at these fundamental causes and redress them, the body can reset itself to a healthy, tolerant, homeostatic equilibrium and over time lose these reactivities so that very often people's digestion and repair can become so much enhanced that they're able to reintroduce the substance that they used to react to uh, but now are tolerant to Uh, and uh, then uh, have a much more sustainable high level of well-being. You know, we we often in in the uh, course of medicine talk about the slippery slope, that Mm. once a patient commits to a certain direction, they just keep going downhill. You're talking a completely different approach. We are. It's as if we can provide a path uh, out of that or up from that slippery slope. And, And in providing that, what you're doing also is creating a program or a path to what we call lifestyle medicine, lifestyle wellness, where where people are in control of making their own choices that do give them better health for the future. Indeed, indeed. And originally, frankly, we thought that if we could just identify what these reactors were and ask people to substitute for them, that the body would repair itself. What we overlooked was that the body is often deficient in the essential repair mechanisms, that the distress has had such an impact on the hormonal and neurochemical and immunologic systems that they need also to be addressed. And we have built into this uh, recommended treatment guide uh, all the components necessary uh, to rehabilitate uh, the neurochemical, the immunologic, the hormonal, as well as the digestive components of the control system of the body. You know, when you say all that, what what people need to understand is what we're hearing is that the 
nonspecific term of distress, because everybody says, oh, I'm so stressed by such and so. But the nonspecific term of distress really has very important biochemical correlates inside every system of the body. And that as these things are breaking down, we're breaking down. And we can even measure that. We can measure the cortisol and DHEA levels. We can measure those hormonal levels. We can measure the adrenaline and the serotonin neurochemical levels. So we can even find out for the individual how distressed they are today. <laughs> right, as if a lot of them don't already know. Oh, right? well, yes. It just <laughs> confirms what people know. But it is often helpful for people to appreciate that the tools now available to comprehensive and functional physicians uh, are sensitive enough to pick up what people already know about themselves. Absolutely. We confirm their already knowingness. Now, we're joined this afternoon by Dr. Russell Jaffe. It's about 45 past the hour here on Star 790 KBME, the best medical updates ever. For your better health, let's pause briefly for this important message from one of our sponsors, Magnetico. Would you like to sleep soundly and feel better, have extra energy? Dr. Dean Bonley wrestled with these problems and came up with his wonderful invention, the Magnetico Sleep Pad. Scientific blind studies found that the Magnetico Sleep Pad helps people who suffer from pain, fibromyalgia, angina, fatigue, and pain from diabetic neuropathy. Sleep Pad owners report relief from arthritis, pain, back problems, migraines, high blood pressure, and many other diseases and disorders. Now, you may think the Magnetico Sleep Pad is too good to be true, and Dr. Bonley wants you to be completely satisfied. So Magnetico offers you a six-month satisfaction guarantee. That's right, a six-month satisfaction guarantee, so you can start feeling good again. For more information on the Magnetico Sleep Pad, please call this toll-free number now. That's 1-866-465-8892. one 866 465 8892 Yesterday, birthday, Jack Nicholson, born 1937, wonderful actor. And talking about actors, today's celebrity birthdays, William Shakespeare, 1564, what a playwright, and what an actress, Shirley Temple Black, Sandra Dee, also born this day. Tomorrow, Barbara Streisand, who was born in 1942, and Shirley MacLaine, what a wonderful entertainer, 1934. On the 25th, we have Edward R. Murrow's birthday, what a newscaster and host of You Are There. And you are here with us at... Feeling Better Naturally with Dr. John Trobergen, joined this afternoon by Dr. Russell Jaffe. Now, when we talk about feeling better with food allergy programs, you know, Russ, one of the things I have to do is tell patients, I know the list doesn't look like you kind of expected it to look. Just do it, and then come back to me with any questions. It's that just do it part that's sometimes the hurdle, isn't it? Yes, indeed. And going by results is a very reasonable way to measure how effective a program is. And if people are willing to follow your recommendations with the input of data that we can provide for just a month or two, they can determine how effective this is in restarting their repair systems. Um, and as they get stronger, they need to be aware that if they do get exposed to something that they still react to, their body will probably now have a stronger reaction. I remember a physician colleague whose daughter was working in his office, had intractable migraine headaches, did our program, and we found that she reacted to chocolate, to orange juice, and to coffee, and she didn't think there was any relationship between these and her migraine headaches. She did follow through and substitute for these items while following a repair program. And after a month or two, she said to her dad, the physician, that she was quite surprised at having been migraine-free after all the years of uh, having almost uh, daily migraine headaches. Whether that related to working in the office or not, I don't know. Uh, but uh, when she inadvertently got exposed to some orange juice after a six- or seven-week following of the recommendations that we had made, uh, and then got a blinding migraine, she went into her dad and said, now I know the program works. <laughs> what a confirmation. You know, we had a similar confirmation with a patient that we demonstrated uh, many, many years ago, was allergic to printer's ink and having uh, multiple sclerosis symptoms. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I finally said, listen, this is what I really think is going on, and this is the change you have to make in your life, she said, it's, it's worse than that. And I said, no, 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 I know your job is that you assist in a print shop. She said, no, 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 it's worse than that. The owner of the shop is a dear friend of mine, and I live in an apartment over the shop. Ah. Now, when we isolated her, and of course we're following the other parts of the program as well, you mm -hmm. know, giving her assistance to rebuild and such, but in isolating her from the printer's ink, that was final step in the process. She got dramatically better. Her MS virtually went away. Wonderful. 
Now, the problem is that six months later, her friend said, I'm really in a bind. Can you just come in and help for just one day? I know you've got a problem, but just one day. And it took us another six months mm-hmm. to relieve her from those reinserted symptoms in her life. That MS came back. And of course, what you and I know is her body had gotten much stronger, was able to tolerate a lot of other things, but not that re-exposure that was fundamentally bad for her. Exactly right. And with your test, we can find strong reactions and moderate reactions. Even, And this is one of the ones that I really enjoy seeing is the food group reactions. Mm-hmm. And, and that just shows that there's something about that particular group of foods and their shared approach to being interviewed by our body mm-hmm. that they all give the wrong answers. Mm-hmm. And uh, that has been uh, wonderful. Now, I, I find the retesting is a fun part. Yes. After about six months, it may make sense to retest and find out whether certain items have been uh, reset, that is, the body has become tolerant to those. Others may persist as reactive items until the final resetting and restoration takes place. Uh, But digestion may not have been restored completely and promptly uh, to a highly healthy state. Uh, The repair deficit may not have been overcome in just a few days or weeks, but may take some months uh, of persistent uh, attention before it is restored. And you may develop some new sensitivities, and that's where retesting after six months makes a lot of sense. And, and, you know, one thing I'd like to point out, too, is, you know, everything in medicine is always going up in cost, and you have continually worked to bring the the cost of your testing down. Well, we're very grateful for the success that we have had, and that has allowed us a number of economies of scale, which we do pass on in the way of lower costs. And those lower costs matter because these people, as you know, have spent a fortune elsewhere. Yes, yes. They've seen all the other specialists, and they have had ineffective treatments, unfortunately, because they're not treating the root of what's causing their problem. They're just slapping some special treatment on this branch of the tree or that branch that's in trouble. doesn't work as well. When we talk about food allergies, we're really talking not just about the foods, but again about the mold exposures, the airborne uh, pathogens and insults, the toxic metals and preservatives and foods and such, things that no one would ever think to look for, right? Who would have thought that a food coloring could be a burden on our immune defense and repair system? Before this kind of patient-specific technology, we couldn't even ask the question in a scientific way. And now we have the opportunity to test each person one at a time in the laboratory of their own body and their own experience to determine how effective these delayed hypersensitivity assessments by our LRA by ELISA Act can be. And that's just a wonderful advance, and, and I'm so grateful for what you brought forth in our understanding about how to really not only assess uh, patients, but treat them. And, and that's really been very helpful. Now, Elisa, ACT Biotechnologies, would you like to give us the 1-800 number in case, now, I know that a lot of people get copies of our program, they're outside our area, but you could direct them to doctors who could help. That's right. If they're in the humble area, we'd highly recommend that they see you. Otherwise, if they'd like, our client services group can uh, connect them uh, with a clinician that is knowledgeable about these uh, areas. And that 800 number, if your folks have a pencil, is 1-800-553-5472. That's 1-800-553-5472. Excellent. I appreciate your giving us that. You know, one of the things that I would like to share with our listeners is how much resource material that your uh, your group offers us. It, they're not only always available by phone, but they always have, you know, a paper that's actually been written by you that documents uh, collections of patients with similar problems. So we get guidance on treatment. Uh, it, it's nice to have someone backing up the guys on the front line. Well, that's a privilege that we have, and it really is a pleasure uh, with colleagues like yourself. It really does matter. Dr. Russell Jeffy, thank you for joining us today to talk about foods and what happens when your body starts to hate them. Have a great day and a wonderful week. And you the same. Thank you, sir. Now, today's program of Feeling Better Naturally with Dr. John Trowbridge has been brought to you not by the number seven and not by the letter M, but instead by the testing and treatment programs for food allergies, especially those with the ELISA ACT LRA test developed by my dear friend, Dr. Russell Jaffe. Now, 
Food allergies are often related to other chronic conditions, such as the yeast syndrome, as detailed in my book from Bantam, a bestseller since 1986. You're welcome to contact the Life Celebrating Health Office for your free questionnaires to find out whether food allergies might be an issue for you. And again, if you're not in our local area, and it's just not something where you can come to see Life Celebrating Health, then call the ELISA ACT Biotechnologies number. That's one 800 553 Five four seven two, and find out who in your area can help you. So what's the take-home message from our wonderful guest today? Well, it's simply this. Food should be your friend, your sustenance for life, your energy for strength and repair and rejuvenation. But all too often, it just seems like it's not that way. And thanks to our changing environment, toxic chemicals and metals, infections and polluted air and water and food and preservatives and processed foods and whatever, our immune system has turned on our foods and turned on the other exposures, the preservatives and the processing, the toxic metals that we get exposed to, the uh, molds and other airborne contaminants that come in, and they create many symptoms in our lives. Now, you can be fixed, and that is the message of hope that help really is available. And the concept that you need to have simply is this, is that if you're suffering from something that hasn't been determined, the simple and first step is to determine what's going on. That's the purpose of clinical interviews. In other words, talking with a doctor who knows what to look for and how to then look for your problems in the most specific way possible. What we're trying to find is what fixes you. I mean, you, after all, are the one who's there with the problem. And what we want to find is not some general theory. You know, the, the idea about a, a general doctor is uh, assuming that he can fix what you've got because you came in with it. Well, th- that's great if it works for you. And in many instances, it does. But what about the instances where it doesn't? And that is the most significant concern in the in the current health care system, especially with chronic conditions, because what we end up with is the frustrating search for getting better. Now, the ELISA ACT test might not be the answer for you. In fact, there are other food allergy tests out there, and there's a whole raft of other tests available to help decipher what's going on inside you. You know, we're not working on a jet engine where they can take it apart and put it back together with new parts in it. We're working on you, and we have to work on you while you're still running. So the important thing is to figure out what's going on with you and how best to fix you. And that's the focus of our show this week, next week, all the time. That's the focus of what we do is figuring out how to fix the people who come to us for help. Now, Tommy from Houston called to say, what helps when you're too tired to do anything, even anything to fix being tired? And so next time we'll share some other special features with you on a condition called Wilson's thyroid syndrome. It's not what you think, so don't miss it. Because, you know, when you think you've been treated for something and you really haven't, it's kind of like the food allergy question. What if there are lurking food allergies that are delayed, as Dr. Jaffe shared with us, that you have no chance to ever figure out. And so what we're going to talk with you is a special way of looking at thyroid function problems, Wilson's thyroid syndrome. Don't miss it. Today's show is dedicated to our soldiers and sailors, airmen and Marines, young men and women bravely in the service of our country, both here and overseas. May God bless them and keep them safe and well. Our production engineer today is Mark Fisher. Production assistants, Catherine Hill and Kathy Guyon. Thanks for joining me today. Have you learned practical pointers to help you regain and maintain better health? Maybe to help you guide your family or friends toward new solutions for their problems? Well, audio tape and CD copies of the show are available for your personal reference and to share with family and friends. Simply call 1-800-FIX-PAIN for details. Now, what health problems are bringing you down, limiting your comfort or threatening your future? Share your questions by email. That's info, I-N-F-O, at healthchoicesnow.com. You know, we say if you don't know you have choices now, you don't have any. Or by fax, that's 281-540-4329. Or by mail, just call 1-800-FIX-PAIN for our address. Or call to talk with one of our treatment assistants and let us know what special information we might send you. 
Receive our free e-newsletter simply by sharing your email address with us and enjoy the free downloads available on our website, www.healthchoicesnow.com. Feel free to come by to see what's so special and visit with patients who are feeling better right now. They're anxious to share their successes with you in person. We're next to Northeast Medical Center Hospital near Bush Intercontinental Airport. Call 1-800-FIX-PAIN for directions or a map. We'd love to show you where better health happens. Remember, if your money, your time, your effort, your comfort, or even your life is at stake, get the very best answers and the very best treatment you can find. Rely on experts who can make sense out of your problems, who have the experience to produce results for you. When life is your choice, failure is not an option. Our message is one of hope for a healthier future, and we aim to produce those results for you. Invite your family and friends to join me next week, Friday afternoon from 1 till 2 on Star 790 KBME for the best medical updates ever, exclusively on Feeling Better Naturally with Dr. John Trowbridge. Have a great day and a wonderful week.